In this section, we are going to go through the wireless page. The first tab on this page is the Basic Wireless Settings tab. In this tab, we are given options of setting up the network name, the wireless channel used by the router for communication, and the wireless network mode. Configuration view has two options, manual and Wi-Fi protected setup. Using the Wi-Fi protected setup initially to configure wireless devices is not recommended. This is not recommended because the default wireless settings on the router are not secure. As you can see, the network name is Linksys. We need to change this name to make it more difficult for hackers to determine the manufacturer of our router. Also, it is recommended to turn off network name or SSID broadcasting, which is enabled by default. The next issue is that the wireless network is not using security and anyone can join the wireless network on this router. This can be a problem if someone uses your wireless connection to do attacks on the internet or download illegal content. All this activity can be traced back to the router's IP address and will become your responsibility. To enable these features, select Manual Configuration. The first option in the Manual Configuration view is the Network Mode. Network Mode allows us to configure the type of wireless card a PC can use to join the wireless network. This router supports devices that have B, G, and N wireless cards. Mixed Mode means the router will accept connections from B, G, and N devices. This is the recommended setting because most wireless networks will have more than one type of wireless device connect to them. For example, you might have N devices only at your house, but a friend that visits you has an older laptop that only supports G standard. Mixed mode setting ensures visitors can connect and use the wireless network. If you are not going to have N clients connect to this device, then use BG Mixed. The disabled option will turn off the wireless access point in the router. The other modes are self-explanatory and should be selected based on your need. We are going to leave the setting at Mixed. Next, we have the wireless name or SSID. SSID stands for Service Set Identifier. Any wireless device that wants to connect through this router will need to select the network name configured here. When a wireless device uses the network name configured here, the router recognizes that the device wants to join and communicate with the router. Let's change the network name to Net1. Channel Width The width of the channel determines how much data can be transmitted at one time. The N standard supports 20 and 40 MHz channel widths. Older B and G standards only support 20 MHz channels. If you have B and G devices, then set it to 20 MHz. Auto will try to determine what the client can support and will select the channel width based on the client capabilities. Channel selection is set to Auto. This allows the router to see what channels are being used by neighboring routers and will try to pick one that has the least interference. This is the recommended setting because wireless environments change all the time and routers are added and removed constantly. Leaving the setting to auto allows the router to choose the best frequency as the environment changes. If you want to select a channel manually and are configuring a 20 MHz channel, then select channels 1, 6, or 11 because there are no overlapping channels. Only one channel is available when a 40 MHz channel width is used. We are going to leave this setting at Auto. SSID Broadcast is used by the router to advertise its network name or SSID to wireless devices. This makes it easier for the router to be detected by clients. To make the router stealthy, disable this feature. We are going to do that here and save our settings. 